I've gotten picked up on the side of the road hitchhiking in Atlanta by some guy who thought it was appropriate to start smoking crack. Pat Daly is my kind of guy. What's going on? It's Pat Daly. Haven't done a video in a while. So I got a comment on Facebook and it's kind of sparking this video. Got a comment from Jose. He says, you act like hitchhiking is the safest thing and you're telling people to do it. I, on the other hand, put safety warnings to tell people not to try. I have been at it for 10 plus years and I've gotten in some cars that was shady as F. But here you are acting like hitchhiking is like getting into a car like it was a family member. Dude, you need to educate your viewers on hitchhiking dangers. So thanks to Jose for that comment. He's got a point. I mean, Jose has a point. There's an inherent risk in hitchhiking. There's a risk in canoeing the East Coast. There's a risk in living in Southeast Asia. There's a risk in climbing cell phone towers with guys that you met the night before. So with these things, you have to be realistic, right? You can't always think that the world is going to be good to you at every turn. You know what you're getting into always. But I also think your worldview has to be informed. By informed, I mean going out and experiencing it firsthand. I really think that's how you can be the best type of informed. And I think we've been kind of conditioned to think that getting information from someone that's handed it to you is the same thing as experiencing it. You have a responsibility to protect yourself, for sure. But you also have a responsibility to cultivate a positive mindset. Because if you want to live a life, a unique life, I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to be positive. Because if not, you're going to give up. If you think the world is a dangerous place, it is. If you think all strangers are not to be trusted, they aren't. Whatever your mindset is, your worldview, it's going to manifest itself before your very eyes. Whatever you think about the world, it's gonna manifest itself right in front of you. Your brain, your ego, it doesn't like being wrong. So whatever situation you find yourself in, negative or positive, your brain is gonna rationalize it to fit in with the worldview, the mindset that you have. If you have a negative view of the world, you think it's a really dangerous place, you maybe watch the news all the time that's selling fear, you're going to expect danger at every turn. You're gonna actually be looking for it, seeking it out, and you're going to attract it to you. I've been sick in Southeast Asia. I thought I had dengue fever. Turns out I was in a hostel that while I was sleeping was leaking exhaust pipe, gas, into the room while I was sleeping and giving me symptoms of dengue fever. But I had that experience and I'm, I'm fine. I figured it out and I left the situation and I'm a lot better for it. I've had only $7 in my bank account in Thailand after being fined for overstaying illegally for 20 days. I got fined for each day. I took the money out of my ATM and I had $7 left. And then I had to leave the country in a week with $7. I trusted myself ultimately I figured out what to do and I got past it. I've gotten picked up on the side of the road hitchhiking in Atlanta by some guy who thought it was appropriate to start smoking crack while we were accelerating onto the highway. We ended up driving 40 miles and now I'm friends with him on Facebook. <laughs> you, can, you can see the fear and you can let it win and you can stay home. You can stay home and wonder what the true reality is. But if you give in to fear and never take that first leap, you're gonna be right where you started, at home, wondering what it would have been like. You know, the risk doesn't have to be as drastic as getting into a stranger's car, 50 strangers' cars, and hitchhiking across the states, okay? You don't have to live that radically, okay? It could be, the fear could be uh, going and speaking in front of hundreds of people for an event or pitching your product to a big company and hoping they'll buy it um, or telling someone something you've always wanted to tell them but you're scared. It could be
be something as little as that. But I'll tell you what, if you shy away from the risk, you don't deserve the reward. You don't deserve the reward. So I do think Jose has a point here. I don't know if I've really, you know, touched on his comment that well. I think I've kind of taken it and ran with it in my own way. Um, so sorry, Jose, if I haven't really answered your comment too well. There are dangers in hitchhiking, travel, and living an alternative lifestyle. But I do think that on the other side of fear, there's great, great reward. So, do you want to stay home wondering what would have happened and maybe have regret? Or do you want to see what's on the other side of that fear? See you guys next week with another video. I want to do a lot of these mini videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, be sure to like this video and maybe comment below. What do you think of my worldview? Is it crazy? Does it align with what you, what you think? Who knows? Um, comment below. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.